Hello Internet. This is going to be a video on the Sega 32X. Here you can see me putting my uh, Genesis down on the table. And then here is the 32X attachment that plops right into the cartridge slot like so. I absolutely adore this little console add-on. I don't know if you could call it its own console. It's more of an add-on if you were kind of like the uh, Sega CD. But I absolutely adore this thing. I think it is so quirky, and I think it is just such a fun little attachment. And it uses two power bricks, which I'll get into a little later, and it uses the standard Genesis controller. Here I am just putting some games on the table, which I will gently knock over in just a few seconds, because I do have some boxed ones as well. I have a box copy of Total Carnage, a uh, golf game, and then Doom. Total Carnage kind of falls off there, but then I have Doom. So the main selling point of the 32X was that it improves the graphics of the Sega Genesis. Sega Genesis being 16-bit and the 32X being obviously double that, 32 bits. Um, what that all boils down to is more pixels on screen and more color and better graphics. And that's how you load a cartridge into it. Um, the cartridge just slides into the top like you would any other uh, cartridge-based game for the uh, Genesis. The only annoying thing is that there's this wire that you need that connects from the video out from the Genesis to the 32X. And you also need two power bricks, which can be annoying. I have a generic one for the Genesis and then my labeled one, not really labeled, it's just a piece of tape for the 32X. But it does only use one video cable. It's just you need that extra cable that attaches the 32X to the Genesis in the back. Now, I do have a bunch of games for the 32X. Um, I have some of the more expensive ones, Doom and Knuckles Chaotic. I have two top copies of Total Carnage and a couple just random games that I have. And honestly, if you're going to play anything on the system, play uh, Knuckles Chaotic and Doom. They are a lot of fun. Here you can see me hooking up the video cable and pointing out how, you know, you need to have that extra cable that attaches from the Genesis to the 32X. And then the 32X has a video out, which goes into the TV. Um, the video out is nothing say, uh, nothing extreme. It's just a normal video out connect, uh, connector. It's not an S video or anything like that. And I'm just going to plop it into the TV here. I kind of missed the red one a little bit. Now, I actually struggle with this, putting in the two power adapters. I have the most uh, normal, generic power strip you can buy. And for whatever reason, the Genesis power brick would not go in. I'm not entirely sure what was wrong, but here you can see me trying to like force it in. It's just not going in. So eventually, I realized, okay, uh, for whatever reason, I thought the pins were bent. Uh, it goes in the other way, so I had to put it in backwards, and then the 32X... Uh, even still it was having issues, but the 32X one slid right in. And now you have to plug the 32X power brick into the 32X, and the normal power brick into the normal Genesis. So let's play some Doom. The graphics honestly kind of impress me. One thing I want to point out is that when you push the cartridge into the 32X, the 32X kind of bends back a little bit, and that could damage the cartridge slot on your Genesis. So be careful. If I had to give any advice on what to do with the 32X, I would say load the cartridge before you plop it into the Genesis. But it starts right up. Here's Doom playing. And to be honest, I think the graphics look really good. It's nowhere near, obviously, PC or a more advanced system, but it's definitely a hell of a lot better than... I have. I also have this on um, Super Nintendo, and the Super Nintendo one looks like garbage compared to the 32X. And I think the 32X... No, the Super Nintendo ha doesn't have sound. One thing I want to point out is that you could see the characters kind of chugging along. That's because there's no mouse aim. It's all done with the keypad and, uh, I'm sorry, the D-pad. And that's fine, but it is a little sluggish to control. It's perfectly playable, but you could tell it's kind of hard to get going in some areas. But I'm going to leave you with a 
play of me playing the first level of Doom, just shooting bad guys and stuff like that. So, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, support me on Coffee. The link will be down in the description. And thank you very much.